Hello everybody, welcome to today's video where we're going to take a look at this GK82 gaming keyboard by Motospeed. I'm really random reviews, I hope you're all fine and well and having a fantastic day. This Motospeed GK82 gaming keyboard come from Amazon Warehouse and I got a deal on this, I got it for around £39, it's normally around 45 to 50 in the UK. It has suspended keycap, monochrome LED, 50 million keystrokes, it has the flagship microchip on board, ergonomic design and a USB gold plated cable. So let's get into the box and see what we get here. So we're instantly met with a synopsis. This is just telling us what the FN key and alt caps do. We'll go through this later in the video. Everything appears to be here, so that's pretty good. We've got a keycap puller there, just the generic keycap puller. And this keyboard's got a little bit of weight to it. It actually feels quite good. I prefer my keyboards to have a little weight. It's got an aluminium deck brown switches it only has blue backlight it doesn't have any other rgb colors but the blue backlight can have several effects it can do a wave effect a pulse effect or a shadow so it'll respond to buttons that you press it looks pretty good it appears to have a slight bit of wear on the wasd but that's not too bad and it is from the warehouse so I don't mind that it's nice and thin the deck has got some good weight to it there's no flex in the board at all the bottom is plastic and we've got the double feet there they only have one tier unfortunately they're not a double tier so you'll only be able to have this in two positions either flat on the desk or slightly upright the feet do feel pretty snappy though, they do lock into place so that's pretty good and they do have rubber feet and it has this rubber beading down the front as well so it should be pretty good for non-slip. The keystrokes sound really good. The spacebar is slightly more tinnier than the other keycaps, but it's nothing major, and they can be dampened. There are other methods to dampening these, but in my opinion, it doesn't need it. It's a pretty good sounding keyboard. Maybe the spacebar if you're really fussy, but for me, it'll be fine. We have a simple on and off power switch on the rear left of the deck. And then we've got the USB Type-C port. The USB cable is actually pretty good. It's a braided cable and it has gold plated tips. So that is supposed to improve the connection. The receiver isn't gold plated, but it's fine. It's just a receiver. It plugs into your PC and gives you the wireless connection. So that's pretty cool. The keyboard can also be used with the cable and for charging, obviously. It takes around three hours to fully charge and will last around three days, which is pretty insane. With moderate use, it may even last longer than that. I took it into game and I found it very comfortable to use. It's quite responsive. I mean, I had no issues at all. I could quite comfortably game with this all day long. It is a gaming keyboard, so it's suited for this purpose, but it is pretty good at multitasking. I also prefer to use this one for editing because of the arrow keys. All the buttons feel responsive, and other than me needing aim assist, then I'm pretty happy with this. So onto the synopsis then, if you hold the FN key, you can also make the F1 and F2, F3, etc. do alternate things. The F1 will bring you up on your desktop. The F2 and FN will bring up a new web page. The FN, F3 will bring up your email. The F4 will bring up the calculator. F5 will stop whatever it is you're doing. F6 will be previous song. F7, pause and play. F8, next song. F9 is the lighting that I'm doing now. Obviously, you need to press Fn and then the F1, F2, F3 key, etc. To do this, these are alt keys. Then you've got the F10, which will be volume down. And then the F11, which will be volume up. And F12, which will be to mute. 
These can be very useful for streamers and stuff to mute. We also have black brown switches. They are very good and on the aluminium deck they sound already dampened even though there is no dampening in these caps whatsoever. They are pretty well made though and they do show the light and have anti-wear on them. And you could dampen the spacebar if you really wanted to to improve that. This keyboard is also compatible with Apple products although it does say that the FN alt keys will have some slight variation so just be aware of that if you're using this on Apple devices. As I said the WASD does have a slight bit of wear on it but as it's from the Amazon warehouse I'm not too concerned about that. The keyboard was complete and in full working order as described so I'm pretty happy about that. The power lead is a nice length, it's a braided cable which is always nice to see. It has gold plated edges which is also nice to see and it has the branded Moto Speed Lion logo on the front there. So you can see a little bit of attention to detail which is normally included in the premium items. I would classify this as a good entry level to premium level keyboard. I like to use it for editing and I do use it for gaming as well. I would recommend this, I'd give it a good solid 4 stars out of 5 in my opinion. I'll leave links down in the description. I'm not sponsored by these in any way, shape or form, this is just my personal opinion. If you found any part of this video helpful at all or in any way enjoyed any part of it, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up guys. Make sure you click that red subscribe button to help the channel grow. We're trying to build a little community here, that would be awesome. I'm going to be doing a 50 subscriber giveaway as well for reaching the 50 subscriber milestone. Until next time then guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Really Random Reviews and I'll see you in my next video.